as you enter the ancient crypt. You see dust from the ceiling settled to the floor, knocked loose by movement from up above in the city. Your torch reveals strange markings on the walls. They are unrecognizable to you as you begin to look. You feel as though the cosmos are staring back at you. Make a sanity saving throw. Hello everybody, today we are talking about a very interesting thing in Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition known as Optional Ability Scores or Additional Ability Scores. Specifically, we are focusing on the Sanity Ability Score. Wait, there are Additional Ability Scores? Yeah, so this is actually something that is often overlooked for D&D 5th edition. In the DMG on page 264, you can find two additional ability scores that you can use for your games, Honor and Sanity. So what is the Sanity Ability Score? Well, it's effectively like any ability score out there, except this one doesn't go into any types of specific skills. However, it's meant to be used for games that feature cosmic horror or just horror in general in order to heighten up the tension. So things like sanity checks can be made in order to re potentially recall ancient alien lore or just anything that would be related to the creatures that you are facing. So if you're running something like Curse of Strahd, for instance, and you really wanted to up the horror, you can add sanity to it. But then how do you get the sanity ability score? Well, luckily on the same page, 264, the DMG, it is clearly spelled out. If you're doing standard array, add an 11 to the ability scores that the players have to choose from. If you're doing point by, add three additional points. And then if you're rolling dice, just let the players roll for it. And if they know, now, there's going to be a lot of cosmic horrors, like something you would encounter in Call of Cthulhu, or, you know, again, Curse of Strahd, this can really allow them to prep for it and make things really interesting. I also do like that it's not typically attached to another ability score like Wisdom and is its own thing. This means because no one has proficiency in saving throws for sanity, everyone is just as likely to Gain a madness. So yeah, as mentioned, sanity skill checks are typically done in order to recall knowledge about a specific monster, maybe some alien technology, or what have you. However, sanity saving throws is where things get really spicy, because they're done when you encounter things that just cannot be comprehended by the mind, be it the creature itself, or just something so grotesque you potentially go insane. Now, sanity saving throws are only going to be done for those specific situations. And if you fail one, you gain a madness. Now, this is where you as the dungeon master can have a little bit of fun with this and maybe have it be degrees of failure. They can gain a more intense madness, but also be very careful with this because there are three types. There's short term, long term, and then indefinite and sanity is a fragile ability score. Because if you gain a long-term or indefinite madness, your sanity is drained by one. And the only way to gain that point back is through greater restoration. That being said, they can also increase their sanity at the various level increases in which the class would require it. But still, it is a very fragile thing because, again, it can't be restored on a long rest only through greater restoration, which means it can really heighten the intensity of certain horror games. So, yeah, I would say go ahead and do it, but be very careful of the level in which you do it. Very early on, maybe don't implement as many long or indefinite madnesses, rather to keep it short term so that way the players can get used to the role. And then later down the road, since again, it, no one's going to be proficient with it, you can start introducing more long-term and indefinite madness. They might have abilities to counter the, that sandy loss, but also maybe not. It's going to be very interesting. It can add a lot of depth and a lot of intensity to these types of games. And it's oftentimes an overlooked ability score in my opinion because it can be a lot of fun to look at. But again, 
I kind of get why, because not many people look at the DMG, even though it has a lot of great optional rules out there. So yeah, with that everyone, if you used the Sanity Ability Score, let me know how it worked out in your game. I'm genuinely curious, because it seems like a good time overall. And with that everyone, keep being awesome, keep rolling those dice. Cheers.